Good afternoon. Hello. Can I help you with framing today? Yes, thank you. I have a print I'd like to frame. Great. It's a Thomas Kincaid print. Oh. And I bought it on a cruise ship. I see. From Park West. They're a huge art gallery and they gave me a great price on it. I bet they did. Okay, we can frame that. I'd like a burl frame on it with a dark green mat. Okay. Is there a reason you want a burl frame and a dark green mat on it? I mean, the colors are very soft. Would you like a frame that complements the picture? I went into a Thomas Kincaid gallery a few months ago and saw all of his prints framed in a burl frame and a dark green mat, so I'd like it done like that. Okay. Well, here's a burl frame and a dark green mat. Is this how you remember it looking like? Yes, that is almost identical. That looks great. If you say so. Excuse me? I said. I like it too. Oh. So how much will that burl frame be? Also, please use conservation glass. I bought this as an investment piece. Okay. The price would be $410 plus tax. Wow. That's too expensive. How so? The prints that Parkwest was selling framed only cost an extra $75 framed. That's much less. Well, they were probably framed in a faux burl frame, not a real burl frame. And they probably used regular glass and cardboard. Not conservation glass and museum foam board. I don't think that's correct. These are investment prints. Why would they frame investments in cardboard and cheap frames? Well, ask yourself this, who told you they were a good investment? Parkwest did. And who sold you the prints? Parkwest did. Don't you see a conflict of interests there? I mean, if I held up this ruler and said to you this is a great investment, you should buy this ruler for $100, would you believe me too? But this is Thomas Kincaid we are talking about. He's the painter of light. You realize most painters who paint use light to do so, right? I don't understand. As long as you like the artwork, that's all that matters. Let me ask you this, how much did this print cost? $1,800. Holy shit. What? Excuse me. I wasn't anticipating that you spent $1,800 on this print. It's not just a print. It's an artist's proof. It better be. Anyway, the frames we have are much better quality. Okay, I have a question. Does conservation glass protect DNA? What? Thomas Kincaid's DNA is on this print. I want to make sure that is preserved. Are you anticipating cloning Thomas Kincaid? If not, I wouldn't worry too much, and I would need a CSI laboratory to know if conservation glass protects DNA. By the way, can you show me the DNA you want to protect? It's in the paint. What paint? This is a print. But it was a painting. Fine. Yes, conservation protects from UV light and DNA. It also protects your house from ghosts and goblins, and will prevent door-to-door -door salesmen too. Great. Can I have this ready by tomorrow? And I have $150 to spend on framing this with it burl frame. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to ask you to leave now. What? You want to get this overpriced, glorified poster framed by tomorrow with an expensive frame that we don't even have in stock, and you want this by tomorrow and want to pay one-third of the price? Well, Michaels is having a sale. I'm going to bring this there. Please do. I may go there with a video camera and tape your reaction to their price and their reaction to your time frame. Goodbye then. I'd normally say come back and see us soon, but I'd be lying.